This video will cover beginner part 2 questions regarding the topic of derivatives inverse trigonometric functions. It's much better to remember that only functions starting with a C have a negative sign. I will prove arc tangent of x. This is the graph of y equals tangent of x. y equals cotangent of x is the reciprocal of tangent x, which is not 1 to 1. The restricted cotangent function is 1 to 1 with this restricted domain. The graph of y equals cotangent x is reflected in the line y equals x. You will see the graph of y equals arc cotangent of x. Now this domain becomes the range. Now this range becomes a domain. Let y equals arc cotangent of x, where y is between 0 and pi. We can rewrite as cotangent of y equals cotangent of arc cotangent of x, then cotangent of y equals x. Differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to x, we're getting y as a function of x. Then you get minus cosecant squared y times dy dx equals 1, then dy dx equals minus 1 over cosecant squared of y. Using the trigonometric identity, cotangent squared y plus 1 equals cosecant squared of y. It's from sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, then divide by sine squared on each side. Then you will see 1 plus cotangent squared of x equals cosecant squared of x. Then back to the original minus 1 over cotangent squared y plus 1 equals minus 1 over cotangent of y equals x, then 1 plus x squared. Therefore, d dx of arc cotangent of x equals minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now we know d dx of arc cotangent of x equals minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. Then think of it as d dx of arc cotangent of u equals minus 1 over 1 plus u squared times u prime. Question 1 equals minus 1 over 1 plus minus x over 2 squared times minus x over 2 prime equals minus 1 over 1 plus x squared over 4 times minus 1 over 2 equals make positive 1 over 1 plus x squared over 4. Then we can rewrite 1 over 2 as 2 over 4 equals 2 over expand 4 plus x squared. Number 2, using the product rule, f times g prime equals f prime g plus f g prime. So x squared plus 1 prime times arc cotangent of x plus x squared plus 1 times arc cotangent of x prime equals 2x times arc cotangent of x plus x squared plus 1 times minus 1 over 1 plus x squared equals 2x arc cotangent of x and cancelled minus 1. Question 3. d dx of arc cotangent of u equals minus 1 over 1 plus u squared times u prime. So minus 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared times 1 over x prime. If you remember, 1 over x prime equals minus 1 over x squared. Or you can find it like this. 1 over x prime equals x to the power of minus 1 prime 
equals minus x to the power of minus 2 and minus 1 over x squared. Then back to the original, equals minus 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared times minus 1 over x squared equals make positive 1 over x squared times 1 plus 1 over x squared equals 1 over expand x squared plus expand 1. Shall we prove arc secant of x now? There is y equals cosine of x. The reciprocal of cosine of x is secant of x, which is now 1 to 1. So we will take only this part. The restricted secant function is 1 to 1 with this restricted domain. The graph of y equals secant of x is reflected in y equals x. You will see the graph of y equals arc secant of x. Now the domain becomes the range. Now this range becomes the domain. Let y equals arc secant of x. We can rewrite as secant of y equals secant of arc secant of x. Then secant of y equals x d dx of secant of y equals d dx of x. Secant of y times tangent of y times dy dx equals 1. Then dy dx equals 1 over secant of y tangent of y. Using the trigonometric identity, secant squared y equals tangent squared y plus 1, then tangent squared y equals secant squared y minus 1, then tangent y equals plus minus square root of secant squared y minus 1 equals plus minus square root of secant of y equals x, x squared minus 1. Then back to the original, 1 over secant of y is x times tangent of y equals plus minus square root of x squared minus 1. The domain absolute value of x is greater than 1. That means if x is greater than 1, it's 1 over x times square root of x squared minus 1. If x is less than minus 1, then minus 1 over x times square root of x squared minus 1. So we can rewrite as 1 over absolute value of x square root of x squared minus 1. Therefore, d dx of arc secant of x equals 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. Question 4. Now we know d dx of arc secant of x equals 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. Then d dx of arc secant of u equals 1 over absolute value of u times square root of u squared minus 1 times u prime equals 1 over absolute value of 3x times the square root of 3x squared minus 1 times 3x prime equals 1 over, we can rewrite as 3 times absolute value of x, then square root of 9x squared minus 1 times 3, then cancelled, equals 1 over absolute value of x times the square root of 9x squared minus 1. Question 5. d dx of arc secant of u equals 1 over absolute value of u times square root of u squared minus 1 times u prime. 1 over absolute value of x squared times the square root of x squared squared minus 1 times 
x squared prime equals 1 over the absolute value sign is not necessary. So it's x squared because x squared is positive. Then square root of x to the power of 4 minus 1 times 2x equals then cancelled. The final answer is 2 over x times square root of x to the power of 4 minus 1. Question 6 equals 1 over absolute value of square root of x times square root of square root of x squared minus 1 times square root of x prime equals 1 over. We don't need the absolute value sign here because the square root of x is always greater than 0. So square root of x times square root of x minus 1 times square root of x prime is 1 over 2 square root of x or square root of x prime equals x to the power of 1 over 2 prime equals 1 over 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 2 then 1 over 2 times back to the radical form 1 over square root of x which is 1 over 2 square root of x then the final answer is 1 over 2 times square root of x squared is x, then square root of x minus 1. Finally, shall we prove arc cosecant of x? y equals cosecant of x is the reciprocal function of y equals sine of x, which is not 1 to 1. We have to take only this part. The restricted cosecant function is 1 to 1 with this restricted domain. The graph of y equals cosecant of x is reflected in y equals x. You will see the graph of y equals arc cosecant of x. Now this domain becomes the range. Now this range becomes the domain. Let y equals arc cosecant of x. y equals arc cosecant of x. Then cosecant of y equals cosecant of arc cosecant of x. Then cosecant y equals x. d dx of cosecant of y equals d dx of x minus cosecant of y, then cotangent of y times dy dx equals 1, then dy dx equals minus 1 over cosecant of y and cotangent of y. Using the trigonometry identity, cotangent squared y plus 1 equals cosecant squared y is from sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, then divide by sine squared on each side, then 1 plus cotangent squared y equals cosecant squared y. Then cotangent squared y equals cosecant squared y minus 1. Then cotangent y equals plus minus square root of cosecant squared y minus 1 equals plus minus square root of, we can rewrite as cosecant of y equals x, then x squared minus 1. Then back to the original, minus 1 over Cosecant of y is x times cotangent of y equals plus minus square root of x squared minus 1. That means minus 1 over plus x times square root of x squared minus 1. If the domain is x is greater than or equal to minus pi over 2, the less than 0, then minus 1 over minus x times square root of x squared minus 1. If x is greater than 0, or less than or equal to pi over 2, so we can rewrite as minus 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. Therefore, d dx of arc cosecant of x equals minus 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1.
Question 7. Now we know d dx of arc cosecant of x equals minus 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. Then think of it as d dx of u to the power of 3 equals 3 u squared times u prime. Then 3 times arc cosecant of x squared times arc cosecant of x prime equals 3 times arc cosecant of x squared times minus 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. The final answer is minus 3 arc cosecant of x squared over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. Question 8. Think of it as d dx of arc cosecant of u equals minus 1 over absolute value of u times square root of u squared minus 1 times u prime equals minus 1 over absolute value of x squared plus 2 times square root of x squared plus 2 squared minus 1 times x squared plus 2 prime equals minus 1 over the absolute value of x squared plus 2 is greater than 0. So we don't need to absolute value sign. Square root of expand x to the power of 4 plus 4 x squared plus 4 then minus 1 times 2x equals minus 2x over x squared plus 2 times square root of x to the power of 4 plus 4x four squared plus 3. This is the last one. Think of it as d dx of arc cosecant of u equals minus 1 over absolute value of u times square root of u squared minus 1 times u prime equals minus 1 over absolute value of x over 3 times the square root of x over 3 squared minus 1 times x over 3 prime equals minus 1 over we can rewrite as 1 over 3 times absolute value of x times square root of x squared over 9 minus 1 times 1 over 3 then cancelled equals minus 1 over absolute value of x times the square root of take out 1 over 9 we can factor x squared minus 9 equals minus 1 over absolute value of x times take out 1 over 9 which is 1 over 3 square root of x squared minus 9 the final answer is minus 3 over absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 9. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.